All right. Today is wiring. Now, this is going to be the simplest tutorial on LS wiring you're ever going to watch. So I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. So you have your uh, stock motor, basically, and your stock harness. Connect it. That's it. That's literally it. There's literally nothing else to it. Connect everything. Connect it all. Doesn't matter if you're going to use it or not. Like right here, there's an EGR va or EVAP on uh, the trucks for when the tank builds up pressure from evaporated gas, it blows it through into the intake. All right. That's all it does. If you're going to delete it, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hook it up. There's not a single thing on this harness that will prevent it from running if it's not hooked up. That, you know, is obvious. Like, you got to have the coils connected. You got to have the injectors connected. You've got to have, you know, power, all that stuff. But over here, if you take all these pink wires and connect them to the key, and you take all the orange wires and connect them to the battery, and then all the black or black with the white stripe wires to ground. That's it. You you send power to the starter. It's going to start. And you have power going to the fuel pump. And it's pumping when you, you give this all these pink wires power. And you hear the pump run. That's it. There's nothing else to it. All these other wires are for the, the pedal or telling the dash what speed you're going or the tack or the water temp or the coolant. You know, all that stuff. None of that has to be connected for the engine to run. You may get, you know, it may get codes or uh, check engine light. or You're not going to know because you don't have the check engine light, which it'll throw a code for knowing that it doesn't have a check engine light. So it'll do all that, but it'll still run. It doesn't care. As long as the stuff on the motor is connected, all pink is key, all orange is battery, and all black, black, white is ground, it will just run. You also have to program the anti-theft out of the computer, but there's plenty of tutorials on that. It can be done for free. You will have to do a lot of reading and a lot of research and digging on Google, but it can be done for free. It's a $100 dongle, maybe even cheaper these days. And then you make the blue connector. Take one from the junkyard, literally go out there and just clump, clump, and stick it. No, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Stick it in your sock. I didn't say that. They have to pay money to have plastic and shit hauled away, but they get paid for, anyway. Make a standalone harness, bench harness. Make a bench harness. It's super easy. Google it. Get a $100 dongle. Google it. And then you can program the computer too. It's super simple. Turn off VATS. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Later, once you do more reading, you can figure out how to turn off the secondary O2s and uh, disable the EVAP. And if you have EGR or, um, you know, whatever. Changing to from uh, drive-by wire to drive-by cable. All of that can be done for free. So... That's how you wire an LS. You connect everything. If you want to delete it, you open it up and you delete it. Again, Google LT1Swap.com will show you what every single one of these pins mean. And it even tells you which ones you can take out. You know, based on your situation, obviously. But that's it. So I'm going to get to it. I'm going to pull some of the wires out. Some of them I don't need. Some of them I do. And then uh, I'm going to prep it for going right over here, I think, like it is in the truck. And, uh, yeah, easy peasy. Do an LS swap. Do it.